Hello, I am Sarah Milliken and welcome to episode 28 of How To Be Champion Storytime. I thought I'd bring you outside. It's a nice sunny day. Uh, I'll try, see I was, <laughs> was going to do it without me. I might be a bit squinty but I'd like you to see my eyes and I'd like to be able to read the page. <laughs> so um, we are on episode 28. Uh, I hope you're doing okay. Um, uh, if you're not, let's see if we can make you smile with some silliness. Okay, so we're still in the middle of the I've had proper jobs. Oh, it's got windy all of a sudden. <laughs> I've had proper jobs uh, chapter and we are on episode 28. This is in the job centre, this is uh, the call centre bit. When the phones were quiet, we again had our own caseloads to look after. Mine was clerical and retail, but my friend Angela's was warehouse and forklift. So I mentioned my old warehouse man, and she said she'd see what she could do. It was on that computer system that I spotted my next job, sound engineer. When I went for the interview and they told me it was for audiobooks, I was thrilled because I was going to be surrounded by books again. Uh, they'd only had male interviewees who, so far who, uh, who'd thought it was a music role. I got the job and on the day I left the call centre, my friend Angela got a call from my warehouse man. She had put him in for a fair few jobs over the months and he'd run to pass a message on to me that he'd got himself one. Which was the best leaving present I could have asked for. Producing audiobooks was like being a kid, but instead of your parent reading to you, it's a professional actor who can do all the voices. I was only there 18 months, but I enjoyed it very much. There was a downstairs toilet that became ladies only after someone, after someone did a massive turd in it that we could smell in the corridor. Quite old fashioned that, and a bit sexist to assume women can't do big stinky poos. The woman who raised the issue did not see the perpetrator but confident, confidently declared it's a man's smell. I've spent my life since proving that theory wrong. We've recorded many Mills and Boone books. My favourite title was Once Upon a Mattress. There was a couple of authors who came up time and again, including one who in real life was a nurse who moved to Holland and married a doctor. All of her stories were about nurses who moved to Holland and married doctors. Hers usually ended with a chaste kiss, but as we know, there are different levels of filth. Throbbing members, a lot of men in white shirts, erect nipples taking people's eyes out left, right and centre. You can make your own Mills and Boone title or indeed any existing ones by using my Mills and Boone title generator below. Now obviously you can't play this, but I can read out all the sections. Uh, it says, pick one from each category. So the first category is Prince, Doctor, Sheikh, Tycoon, Desert King, Billionaire, Duke, Italian, Husband. The next category along is uh, Mistress, Daughter, Twins, Wife, Virgin, Bride, Virgin, Bride, Virgin, Twins, Virgin, Daughter. And then the next one <laughs> is Adjectives. Rock hard, wet, throbbing, massive, intense, moist, rounded, soft, manly, solid, painful, sore. And then the last one Roulette, Christmas, Passion, Magic, Betrayal, Blackmail, Baby, Secret, Secret Baby, Secret Baby Blackmail, Secret Christmas Baby Blackmail, Crouching Tiger, Hidden Dragon, Hard On. Some examples, the Desert King's Mistress's Moist Blackmail, the Sheikh, the Virgin Bride and their Throbbing Christmas. But you can also have the Doctor's Daughter's Massive Baby. Because we recorded the books unabridged, we sold a lot to libraries and often the staff of those libraries wanted to come uh, for a visit. I remember a 10am visit when a softly spoken woman and a gentleman sat behind me while an actress in her 60s mmmed and yesed her way through a nine page sex scene. Their eyes widened and we all had an exhausted custard cream straight afterwards. I heard tell of a care worker in an old people's home putting on an audiobook for the old ladies in the day room. It got a bit hot and heavy so she stopped the tape only for every one of those, <laughs> every single one of those women to come up to her individually and ask for a borrow. Through all of the seafaring yarns, pot boilers, crime and romance, my favourite book by a country mile was The Weeping Tree by Audrey Ryman. It's a romance set during the Second World War and the reader, Leslie Mackey and I, cried so much at the end that we had to stop reading and gather ourselves together. I mentioned the book on a TV show I did with Anne Robinson and Audrey got in touch with me and came to see one of my shows. It was the only book I asked to take home after reading. My favourite line from any book, however, was this from a Mills and Boone. 
he positioned himself for entry. Sounds like a fat man trying to get through a doorway. And the how to be champion tip at the end of this chapter. I once did a talk for 14 and 15 year old girls at the school where my old college friend Helen is a teacher. One of the things I told them was that university wasn't essential. I remember the teachers all started looking at each other and panicking. I didn't want the kids who couldn't afford to go to think that this would in any way stop them from having a great life. Sure, if you want to be a doctor or a lawyer, there's no way around it. But there are plenty of jobs where work experience in being keen and willing to learn can get you a foot in the door. A quote that always gives me fire in my belly is by Johann Wolfgang von Goethe. Whatever you can do or dream you can, begin it. Boldness has genius, power and magic in it. And that is the end of episode 28. I do hope you enjoyed it. I hope you enjoyed me bringing you outside. You like those days at school when you asked if you could all take your desks outside. That's what I did. I brought my desk outside. Uh, have a good rest of day. Take care of yourselves. Uh, stay in the house. Wash your fucking hands. Lots of love. And I'll see you tomorrow. Bye bye. Hello, it's Sarah Milliken here. Please make sure you subscribe to my channel to stay up to date with all of my latest videos. Don't forget to like, pop a comment below and why not stick around to watch a few more. I'm sure those emails or those dishes can wait a bit longer.